before 6 9 I didn't, I never had a social media. Never. Never. I never had a MySpace, a Facebook, <laughs> right. none of that shit. You in the streets for real. Yeah, well, you ain't like, got social media. <laughs> after Shotty would start up Treyway Entertainment and reportedly take on a management role for artists including Takashi 6 9 Fetty Wap, Skinny from the Nine, Alexis Sky, Alshon Martin, and Cuban Doll. But we always on top because our record is going to stand as the number one hit making label. After Treyway would become a popular catchphrase in pop culture and land itself in the Urban Dictionary, as rapper 6 9 makes Treyway sound gang related, but it's actually the name of his manager, who's currently in jail and that's why he always says it. Hey, look, you drinking sloppy, look, look at this thing. You want this? I know, I'll do it for you. Yo. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Yeah. Treyway. You feel me? Yo, you created the phrase of the year. Treyway. Yeah, that's it. After Shoddy would get fired by 6 9 just days before the boys would get arrested by the FBI on racketeering and firearm charges. I, I fear God mm -hmm. and I fear the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Only two things I'm scared of in life. Mm -hmm. At the time of this recording, Takashi 6 9s longtime friend and acting manager Shoddy, aka Treyway, aka Kefano L. Jordan, well, he's been marched off to the slammer and the world's waiting on pins and needles to find out the boys' fate. Now it's been one hell of a come up for this crew and Shoddy, he went from an unknown to becoming the official catchphrase of the summer with everyone screaming Treyway. I know we did it a lot on this show. Now with all the headlines and success, the crew were also surrounded by controversy. There were arrests, there were shootings, and of course their gang affiliations. Everyone was asking questions. Now in a last ditch effort, Takashi, he tried to distance himself from his crew, but Shoddy is a man who's been on the other side of the law for quite some time. The last time we took a shot at documenting his life, we didn't know much about the man, but in the past three months, the internet has learned a lot more, including his multiple arrests, his mugshots, and him being New Jersey's most wanted fugitive just a few years back. Shout out to that. Shout back up to Belgium. <laughs> If you know I'm waiting for the weed, man, he might get clapped on the come in. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCrutton, documenting the life and career of Shoddy, aka Troy White, here for you on After They Are Famous. Now, I, uh, I was talking about this just the other day on my new show, Famous News. I was like, I need to make an updated video on Treyway. Now, if this all plays out as factual, I feel bad for Shoddy, aka Treyway, because, uh, well, we were actually gonna update his before they were famous. Now it's gonna have to be an after. We wanted this to be an updated video. I mean, I was even working on the thumbnail, for real. But the, uh, the FBI investigation and the arrest charged well, uh, I think it meant that this had to be an after they were famous. We were gonna do something different with that title, but when the guy might be locked away and they're throwing away the key, definitely his time in the spotlight's coming to an end. Maybe he'll get out. Maybe we'll change it then. I don't know. Also, this video was brought to you by our fine friends over at Candy Pens. All right, let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Treyway, I created that. That's my shit. I thought he was a person. No. Shoddy was born Kefano L. Jordan on April 14th, 1982, which makes him 36 years old at the time of this recording. Now, he was born in Trinidad and he came over to America when he was around two or three years old. We immigrated from Trinidad. I was, came to America when I was like two or three years old. Mm. Always in school and like heavy in school. He grew up in the Bedford Stuyvesant neighborhood, which is located in Brooklyn. Where are you from? What, what um, neighborhood are you? Best Eye. Best Eye, okay. 6 9 is reportedly from Bushwick, Brooklyn. And uh, well, the two boys, they grew up about nine minutes away from one another. And although Shoddy is 14 years older than 6 9 well, the two became associates likely through street hustling. Now, I looked up this area to see if I could find any more information. And the first Google result, it read, is Bushwick or Bedford Stuyvesant safer for a female to live? Just so you know, I read the reviews and uh, well, they were pretty positive. But I think people said you should live in uh, Bedford Stuyvesant, stay out of Bushwick. Now another local street hustler who had another 13 years on Shoddy was Curtis Jackson, AKA 50 Cent. And Young Shoddy, he knew of the up and coming rapper back when he was dealing on the streets. Young Shoddy or Kefano, he was the man of his household being raised by a single mother. Now she encouraged him to take his studies seriously and he learned early on that he was a natural academic. He was so book smart that he was actually placed into all the advanced classes and he was even enrolled at Hunter College High School, a publicly funded school which only accepts the brightest students in the area. Now according to the school's website, students accepted to Hunter represent the top one quarter or 1% of students in New York City, and this is based on test scores. Now with smarts, they quickly translated into street smarts. As Treyway put it, 
Hey Brooklyn, either you roll or you get rolled over. Because Shadi is a man who lived offline, there isn't much of a paper trail about what he got up to during his youth and even into his adult years. What we do know is that he got in trouble with the law and that he had strong affiliations with the Bloods. He was arrested in December of 2015 in Essex County, New Jersey on robbery and firearm charges. He was the Fugitive of the Week back in October of 2016 by Hunterdon County, New Jersey Crime Stoppers and uh, well, they even had a cash reward. Now Treyways also posted a picture to his Instagram account which showed him visiting a man by the name of GU and this is one of the top ranking blood gang members in the world. The boys are thought to be associated with the Nine Trey Gangsters, a group of bloods established in Rikers Island. That's a prison 6 9 allegedly spent some time in before he made it as an artist. Now Shadi, he took to his IG live trying to clear things up. They're always just trying to say Trey Wade, it was his own thing. Trey Wade is our way of life. It's not the Nine Trey Bloods, Trey Wade is our way of life, you get it? Now you can piece these little bits of information together however you want. But Shadi, he managed to do well for himself. In fact, he told This Is 50 that he had made millions of dollars before he ever got into the music business. He also described on Instagram, well, that he'd become a father with multiple boys. Good for him. I miss my kids so much. That's my plans, go spend time with my kids. I miss them, I wanna hug them and kiss them. But life on the street, of course, it came with its hardships. And Treyway, well, he clearly lost a few friends. Shout out to all the niggas when he make it to, to, to be right here with me today. Shout out to all, all the lost ones, all, all my brothers. I mean, we ain't gonna get into the rest in pieces, man. We gonna leave that shit alone. He also appears to be a man of religion, having gotten spiritual prayers all over his body since the age of 19. Now, when 6 9 started picking up momentum in 2014 and 15, this was via Instagram for his colorful hair, his face tattoos. He basically became a meme that was known all over the world. Well, he came to realize the opportunities that existed on the internet, and he knew that he could harness this to become a world famous rap star. He turned to Treyway looking for some help on the business side of things, and Takashi, he had already proven himself having performed out in Slovakia, and Shadi, well, he was quick to take notice. He decided to take a closer look and become a businessman supporting the rising artist. Shadi took what he knew from his street hustle, and he invested his time into creating a label. Treyway Entertainment was set up in 2016 out of Brooklyn, New York. He was able to help Takashi pull in more profit and the two set up to take over the rap game. The plan was to become the new Death Row, which is a little scary. Actually, that makes a lot of sense now. Are you, are you scary or are you a businessman? No, we're business. What are we? We're business. It's business, all about business. The Death Row scares people. You gotta respect the ferocity that um, Death Row came into the game with. They came into the game for fierce. They came in to get their point across. Yeah. They came into the game to make money for their artists. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And Trey, we can do the same. The boys got to work and Takashi delivered on his plan to become the most talked about artist in the world. With Shadi by his side and everyone screaming, Trey, wait! Well, Shadi, he started to get some limelight for himself. Even little kids were saying it. Hey, Maddie, what's the best record label in the world? All right, now we're really gonna get to the after part. Despite Shoddy's savvy as a businessman, well, he kept getting himself in trouble with the law. He was booked again in Essex County in May of 2018 as a person in interest in the Casanova shooting. In November of 2018, Shoddy turned himself into the police over a New York City shooting that took place in late October. He was charged with gang assault and weapon possession, allegedly hitting a man over the head with a chair. He was also reported by witnesses as saying, I'm gonna violate you both with gunshots. Yeah, he definitely didn't pick up that uh, terminology at Hunter College. Now the arrests, well, they only further raised his profile and people's intrigue. More people wanted to know who the hell is Treyway? Now we're gonna get into the most recent charges for racketeering in this arrest with the FBI. But first, well, it looks like it's getting a little smoky in here. You've all heard of Candy Pens, right? Well, if the name doesn't ring a bell, I got a good feeling you've seen them before. Candy Pens was named Best Vaporizer of 2018 by High Times due to its combination of popular technology and flashy design. And Candy Pens, well, has quickly become the go-to choice for vaping in the hip hop and rap community. They've got co-signs from DJ Khaled, Fatboy SSE, Young M.A., Amber Rose, and ASAP Rocky. In fact, ASAP, he's got his own line called the Flacco Jody Collection, and Amber Rose. There's a reason you've seen billboards of her all over Los Angeles, because she's been promoting her own signature line. New Candy Pens, they are for those 18 years and older, and seeing as I'm the official YouTube ambassador for the brand, well, they've given me the ability to give you 25% off your entire order during checkout. There is a link down below. Use the promo code BTWF25. 
and happy vaping. Mm. Like I said, business was going well for Treyway in 2018. 6 9 he was the most talked about artist and the self-proclaimed king of New York. Now his personal Instagram, Treyway Entertainment, it was quickly approaching a quarter million followers. He was also signing or at least meeting with a bunch of new artists, but the police, they were hot on the gang's trail and they continued to get in trouble with the law. Following the October brawl outside a restaurant where bullets were fired and Shadi allegedly hit a man with a chair, well, it was then Takashi finally decided to say goodbye to his pals. Everybody is gone. Get out of my life. Get out Everybody? of here. Everybody? Everybody. Wow. I thought you I thought you were signed to them through whatever, so you're not at all. Nah, shout out to... Nah. I am shot. I'm I am signed to Elliot Grange. In this Breakfast Club interview, which is now probably 6 ix last interview for a while, well, he revealed that he had gotten ripped off by his booking agent and he lost a lot of money. At least $120,000 from a $3.6 million concert deal he had signed for. So uh, he's pretty pissed off. He also stated that he wanted to be alone and he acknowledged that Shadi had been indeed fired. Another break from one another, it wouldn't last long with the FBI arresting both of them on Sunday, November 18th, as well as three of their friends. This was on racketeering and firearm charges. What is racketeering you ask? Well, I decided to look it up. Racketeering, often associated with organized crime, is the act of getting involved in a dishonest and fraudulent business dealing or offering a service to solve a problem that wouldn't otherwise exist. The law defines 35 different offenses that constitute racketeering, and the list includes gambling, kidnap, murder, arson, drug dealing, and bribery. Law provisions a racketeering convict to serve up to 20 years in prison in addition to a fine of $25,000. Now 6 9 had just been put on four years probation from his 2015 child sex case. He was also to carry out a thousand hours of community service and he was told to keep his nose clean or else he'd be sent to the slammer. But uh, apparently they weren't able to do so. Now I believe Shoddy has offered everything that's in his bank account to get released on bail, which was $60,000. So where's all that millions he made before he got into music? I don't know. Okay, this story is still unfolding and we are gonna hit you guys with more information on our famous news that I'll be dropping in just a few hours. So look forward to that. More updated information as will follow. We'll leave a card down below. See you guys in the next video. My name is Michael McCrudden. Boom! As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see because this is after they're famous. That's what I was supposed to say. Okay, bye. Now 6 9 is reportedly from Bushwick, Brooklyn. Uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. Uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. Ah! Bushwick, Brick. Bushwick, Brooklyn. Bushwick, Brooklyn. Bushwick, Bushwick, Brooklyn. Bushwick, Brick. Bushwick, Brooklyn. Takashi is reportedly from Bushwick, Brooklyn. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast.